Hey, yo, what's going on, bro? Once again, bros, women, bronies, and beggars is the one, the only, of course, mister. And time is only free, 20, 11, 8, Christmas, and 2009. Of course, you guys know the rest of the interest channel. And uh, before I begin, double check out freenumber.com. Of course, your subject is to down the end. Fame people on Fresh Chan Bears. I have an official picture made for you. I'll put the link in the description box below. Best part trip I've all the good stuff. Anyways, um, this is like my third attempt of me doing this video due to like certain things happening in IRL, all that crazy stuff. But uh, yeah. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's begin. Let's get into this thing. Before I begin, yeah, um, I actually found these two really old movies. I can't believe they were in the garage the whole time. Well, I think it's when we were moving like two weeks ago. Um, I found this old bootleg version of Juno <laughs> and Jurassic Park 3. I might as well watch the first and second one. I don't know where they're at yet, but as soon as I find them, I'm probably going to get hyped so that way I can see Jurassic Park World. I'm real hyped as hell for that, even though if Chris Pratt's not like the best actor in the world, but might as well watch it just for the franchise sake of it, right? So, I already said this before, I already said my thoughts, views, and opinions on this thing. I might as well just upload that part to YouTube so you guys already know what I'm talking about. But, um, this probably, I don't know if it's going to be part two or just a full story about Sword Art Online. And I found two different, um, found two different, um, like, what's it called? Like, segments or whatever of, um, this thing. I don't know why I didn't do this before, but I'm going to do it now. I totally forgot to put my hat. I don't know why. Because it looks like crap. I'm sorry that it does. I mean, if that offends you, I'm sorry. But if it don't, hey, it is what it is. So, Dual Shockers. This, this was from Dual Shockers, a cinema blend on And shout out to Stonepool, Cold Fox Media. I already read this on the first part. I'm probably just going to make this into a completely separate video. But it'll still have something to do with Sword Art Online. So, here we go. PS4 version of Sword Art Online, Lost Song, and Sword Art Online Fragment announced. Coming to the West. During a live stream with Nico Nico Bandai, uh, Com announced that Sword Art Online, Lost Song, and Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment will get a PS4 version. The PS4 version of Hollow Fragment will be a director's cut version of the additional <coughs> content and will be Sword Art Online already Hollow Fragment. This is where I had to cut it off. Here we go. Now I can read the rest of it slowly. Sword Art Online Lost Song was previously released in Japan for the PS3 and PS Vita. While Hollow Fragment was released on the PS Vita exclusive and launched into the West as well as last summer. Yet, that's not all. Bandai and Namco of Europe immediately followed up on Facebook, mentioning that the two games will come to the West. Of course, the West of the United States, yada, 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 you know that shit. Excuse me, sorry about the cussing. Um, and more precisely, more the summer of RE for RE Hollow Fragment and the fall of Lost Song. The latter will also be released on PS Vita, but will skip the PS3. The West released the Sword Art Online RE. Hollow Fragment will be exclusively digital, while Lost Song will also get a retail release, at least in Europe, as far as we know. Those that already purchased the Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment for the PS4, no, PS Vita, excuse me, will be able to trans transfer some elements of their save files for the PS4 version, and all the DLC will be available at launch. In a following press release, Bandai and Natco released that the pack shots for both games and a batch of screenshot also mentioning that the Europe release for the Lost Song will have original Japanese languages and subtitles for English, French, Italian, German, and Spanish. Oh cool, they're showing love to my people. Shout out to my Latinos. People la mi la realidad, you know that stuff. Sorry about black and white people, you don't know what that means. Just Google it. And for this one now, all right, this is a little bit crazier. So, two Sword Art Online games coming to the PS4 this year. This one was from um, Cinema Blend. It was, and the journalist was um, Ryan Winslow. So shout out to you, Ryan Winslow. I doubt if you're going to watch this, but thank you for making this. Um, this journal entry or whatever, this article. It says, quote, It looks like Sword Art Online has been a dual-wielded dose of good news to get excited about this morning at Bandai Namco. Recording announces that not only will the upcoming Sword Online The Lost Song will be available in North America for the PlayStation Vita, but that the latest game in the series will be joined to enhanced versions of Sword Art Online and RE Hollow Fragments for the PS4 too. One of the biggest anime to arrive in the past few years, the first season of Sword Art Online revolves around a group of MMORPG players who are trying a new game that literally links your nervous system and almost into a real virtual world. The problem is that the game is being run by a madman who has managed to lock everyone into the game where if you die, your physical body will suffer the same fate. That's scary as hell, Bando, coming with something like that in real life. I mean, we already got Oculus Rift and um, 
Project Morpheus. So if the crazy CEO was able to do that in real life, oh, and if he gets busted, he's going to be accountable for millions of people dying. If that was going to be a case of reality. So, uh, yeah. It says the only way to fight is with every with everyone's task to clear a tower of monsters and bosses to earn their freedom. Last year, the first video game based on the popular series of Kingdom Hearts the America Sword Online, Hollow Fragment, which was made, it was, it's made its way to stateside as a download-only title for the PS Vita. The game attempts to give you the feel, the feel of um, being into a real game. Last year, the first video game was based on the popular short series coming to North America, yada yada yada, I already said that. For the most part, keeping you locked into a single player experience, it actually pulls off the feet very nicely. Pretty nicely, excuse me. Off offering loads of content, questings, looting and upgrading, but for the same repetitive loops you'd, you'd expect out of, say, World of Warcraft or Final Fantasy XV. Unlike traditional MMOs, the kind of great that kind of grind got stale more quickly in single player settings, which was which was the game's flaw. The translation was also shaky at best and totally skippable romance mini games with impenetrable or impenetrable without using a guide. Despite its flaws, though I had a lot of fun revisiting the world of SAO, aka Sword Online, pu pulverizing monsters. The combat system was pretty unique and actually boated some of the fantastic animations, or boosts, excuse me, which kept me coming back for more. Later this summer, Bandai and Namco has announced a Sword Online RE Hollow Fragment will be made available for the whole new audience as a digital on the PS4. Shortly followed to the last sequel, Lost Song will be arrived or the PS4 beta later on this year during the summer and the fall. Lost Song. I don't know if that's Lost Song or Last, I think it's Lost Song. Will take place to the dedicated, less dedicated, less deadly AL Femian online to face similar challenges. Only with a setting based with Norse mythology and the ability to fly gains familiarity. I'm especially happy that Lost Song will be getting a retail release at the original game, boasted to hefty full size and even 32 gigs. On my Vita card basically topped off. And uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. So uh, overall thoughts, views, and opinions, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm glad, as you heard in the first part of this video or in the separate part of the video, I'll just link it in the description box below. I was really happy to hear about this news. This was about a month and one week ago when I heard about this last month of May, the beginning of May. But unfortunately, I never got time to get around it until now, of course. Um, I was real hyped up, excited for this game. Um, I mean, obviously for the PS3, I'll still be able to get it, but it's only for PS4, you know, I'll still be able to get it, but it's not going to be as exciting for feeling for me, personally, for myself. And the last two things I want to say, I don't want to keep this video too long, like the first part was. Um, hopefully this brings a lot of people that enjoy the anime for Sword Online. I only saw the first season. I never got to see the second, third, fifth, sixth, seventh season of the anime series. But I think there's like four different categories that it falls into. It's kind of like how Dot Hack Sign was, if any people remember that, or Full Metal Alchemist, kind of like that style of anime, but... It's a little bit deeper. Sometimes it's a little bloody. Sometimes it's very sand fan servicey, and then there's sometimes where it's just crazy as hell. It's completely out of left field. And the last thing is, hopefully they make this into a movie. That's what I'm really hoping that it comes down to. Um, probably not live action. If they do do live action, it's probably just gonna be exclusive to Japan. And never come here over here in the United States. I mean, if they made an American movie, obviously they're gonna completely whitewash it. Why wouldn't they? They'll probably have like one black dude over there. But I'm not talking about race and ethnicity right now. I'm just saying. Um, yeah. Other than that, it's pretty much all I have to say. Um, this is really good news for Sony. And, I mean, if this ends up being just an exclusive for PS4, I mean, it's going to make a lot of Xbox One fans and Wii U fans very, very disappointed for Nintendo and Microsoft. But at the same time, it'll be good for me because I am a Sony fan. I do love the hell out of the stuff that they do. Granted, a lot of their internet services are crap, unfortunately. I have to admit that. And, um... There's like a lot of bugs and glitches, especially when they get hacked a lot. That's the only part I kind of comes with being a Sony fanboy that kind of sucked, but other than that, for the most part, I still love them nonetheless. If you're an Xbox only or Nintendo only, like Wii U fan only, you know, it is what it is. You're entitled to your own opinion. If you're going to end up being a troll, start talking shit and everything, you know, I'm going to have to block you, but if you could come to a reasonable, you know, perspective. 
at least talk to me, you know, face to face as a grown person or if you're a younger person, you know, tell me why you don't like this idea respectfully though. Because if you start cussing me out, saying this and that, oh, you're fat, you don't know what you're talking about, you're Mexican, you're a wet, bad, mean, or mother effort, you know, I'm not going to get none of that. No, that's not how it's going to go. You're going to get banned. You're going to get the hell off my channel and um, get the hell out of my life and kill yourself. I'm saying. But other than that, you know, if you come with me with respect, loyalty, you know, honesty, you know, you show me some type of loyalty towards me and respect. And, and you come at me as a kind person. Then I'll give you that respect back. You're free to talk however you want to me. Just as long as it's not no smart-ass type of way. Because if it ends up being that, I'm just completely blocking you. That's it. I don't care how many channels you keep making over and over and over just to talk crap to me. You will be blocked no matter what. I don't care. Um, other than that, that's it. I'm just saying that for the trolls part. For my main loyal subscribers and main viewers, you guys are awesome. And uh, the link to both of these articles will be in the description box down below or maybe it was in the annotation already if you didn't click to that in the beginning. And that's it. Peace out once again, bros, women, bronies, and bags. So we'll see you when I see you. You guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever around the world. Don't do some more at the same time. Don't say anything reckless. Keep it calm, keep it cool, keep it chill, keep it like out there. And until the next time, guys, peace out. Ladies and bye, stay tuned. More videos coming soon. Brand new videos on this channel almost every single day. And with that said, I'll talk to you guys later. Um, stay on the grind, stay easy, stay safe, all that good stuff, stay healthy. Easy be you, do you, do yourself, all that good stuff. I'm out like Sour Crowd. See you guys around. Ladies and bye. Look out for more future content on this channel and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Goodbye.